At this moment, many people in the world are queuing for one thing, to get the COVID jab. So far, several vaccines have been approved for use or got an emergency use authorization. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are mRNA-based. China's Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines are inactivated vaccines. Vaccines from Sputnik V, Russia, and Oxford, AstraZeneca, the UK, are adenovirus vector vaccines. What are the characteristics of China's inactivated vaccines? Among all the vaccines that have been approved for use so far, the production technology of inactivated vaccines is relatively mature. The requirements for biosafety during the production process are also quite high. The appropriate temperature for its storage and transportation is generally 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. When enough people are protected by vaccines, a barrier to stop the spread of the virus is formed, so as to achieve herd immunity against COVID-19. What is the relationship between herd immunity and vaccination? There are many factors that can affect achieving herd immunity through vaccination, including the efficacy and quality of the vaccine, the susceptibility of the vaccinated individuals and groups, the vaccination coverage, the timing of inoculation as well as whether new major variants of the virus will emerge, the risks of exposure to the infectious agents, and the protective effects after having antibodies. It can also vary in different age groups. The efficacy rate of a vaccine is defined by a comprehensive index system based on the statistical analysis of multiple variables. Why has the same vaccine delivered different efficacy rates? Different countries have different diagnostic criteria and trial procedures. The results also depend on who the volunteers are, where they live and work, how they are grouped, how the statistics are analyzed. For instance, all the people involved in the phrase 3 trial in Brazil are medical staff, so the efficacy rate turned out relatively low. How come? Because the medical staff could oftentimes be exposed to the virus working in the hospital. We can expect better results on ordinary people with much lower risk of exposure to the virus. Why China suggests that people aged 18 to 59 get the jab first, while some other countries give priority to children and senior citizens. In China, the current situation is it has vaccines and has a low infection rate. Under such circumstances, the priority should be given to those who are most likely to get infected and spread the virus. They mainly fall into the 18 to 59 year old age group. In some other countries where vaccines are available and the infection rate is high, the chief concern should be shifted from the likelihood of getting the virus to chances of becoming severely ill. So the senior citizens should be given priority. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues, vaccines are regarded as powerful weapons to fight it. A growing number of countries and regions have approved the use or emergency use of Chinese vaccines. Many have reached a procurement agreement with China. Chinese vaccines will inject confidence into these countries and regions in their fight against the pandemic.